Hello guys and welcome to a new video of my how-to series of tutorials and today I'm going to show you how to make a discord music bot and this is going to be the one and only best way of making a discord music bot and um, that's why it's called like that in the title and um, this is actually a synced um, tutorial so the official tutorial is in German if you want to watch it it will be linked in with this video and the description will also be in English just for you guys and yeah all the links for you will be in the description so you don't have to worry about where to find all this stuff um, I got you covered there and all the commands will also be in the description so um, let's download Python, that's the first thing we will need and if you've got a 32-bit PC you have to get a 32-bit link but I'm going to do 64-bit now and now we're on AdFly so um, we quickly have to skip this if you've got AdBlock you'll have this skip thing here um, once it is loaded Okay, so we click on uh, skip ads and this is all my stuff on my desktop. It's not important. Uh, let's go to my um, downloads, which which is a little bit more uh, less. It is less messy. Um, and let's click. Let's save it. So we have Python. And we're first going to download all the packages that we need so that we can use the bot. And um, eventually we'll download the bot. So we've got Python, um, now we have to get Git for Windows. And this, this tutorial is actually Windows only. Um, so we click on Git for Windows, which is also in the description. And um, this is going to open AdFly again. We'll wait just like previously. And um, once it is over, we should be on the page of uh, Git for Windows if this doesn't take too long. Okay, so we're on the page for Git, so we click on um, download, and now we can actually download it. It will give you the um, optimal version, so 64-bit or 42-bit um, to your system. And um, now that we're done with this, I think so. We are going to, once this is done, we are going to download the music bot. And this will take a second. Okay, so we've got this, it's in my download folder. And then we go to um, the music bot by Sexual Rhinoceros. And this takes a couple of seconds to load till it is here. So we click on continue, continue. And yeah, um, skip ads. And now we're on his um, page. And what we have to do now is actually um, download it. So we go to clone or download. And we click to um, download zip. The link won't actually matter to us. Um, so we click download zip and we've got this in our download folder now. This will take a little while so I'll wait here for with you and um, yeah um, by the way there's um, other links for you um, if you well not in my description but on his page and um, there's other links for you if you want to do this with Mac OS X or your Linux server. Um, so that you don't have to always keep your PC on to actually use this. Okay, so now we've got this downloaded and we can actually uh, minimize or close Chrome. So what we want to do now is actually um, start installing each of these um, packets after each other. Um, so we're actually going to go to our downloads again and we're going to start with Python. So we open Python um, and then we click install now um, but first we click add Python 3.5 to path so we have that and um, once we have that we can click install now it will for ask for administrator rights 
we click yes and now you can see it is actually um yeah it is actually downloading uh, i mean installing python on your pc this takes a couple of seconds and we're pretty much done we close it and we go to git It will also ask for administrator rights, of course you will click yes. And now we click next, um, next. I think this is all okay. Um, we click next. Then we click use git from bash only. We, that's the only thing we actually need. We don't need any more. Um, we're going to leave the checkout window style command unix style line something here um we're going to leave mint tty and yeah we're going to continue Con we're going to leave this i the, you, might, you might want to get the um get the git credential manager disabled um so you just click finally you just click install and uh, now it should um, actually be installing with you first. With me, it has to uninstall because I already did this previously. But um, once this is done, now it is like you would have it when it's um, installing it normally. Before, um, without you having it installed previously. So this takes a little while. But you'll get it done in some time. And we don't need to view that um, and click finish. And we're done with this part. So now we actually have to um, get to the music bot itself. So we actually um, extracted. I personally use WinRAR, but you can also use um, Windows to extract your zip. And I don't know if it will make a new mounted partition, but um, you just extract it um, here. And that's what I prefer usually and um, if you'd like to have this somewhere more handy like your desktop I'll just put it on your desktop and if you want to you can actually change the name of the music um, bot folder so it doesn't actually matter how it is called it doesn't influence anything um, so We are still going to go to our um, Discord application, a developer application page, which we can um, actually put um, applications in. Okay, so I quickly have to add my, um, put in my credentials here. Um, I'm not going to show them to you because they ha include my private email and um, so on. But once you've done this, um, you should actually be able to get to this um, bot page and there you can see um, is my Tropically bot which I actually use for my Mixcloud upload same way with um, Rhinoceros's bot um, but we're going to create a new one and um, to do that we're going to um, click the plus symbol and <coughs> You can leave pretty much everything the same here. You can um, change the bot name and I'm going to upload an icon just to show you how you can change the bot's profile picture for um, Discord. We're going to take the, the thumb, I think, which is going to be good. Um, create application. So next thing you have to click okay so once we have done this it should appear in this way and what we're going to do is create bot user yes do it and now we've got this um, bot ID stuff and the token that you aren't actually supposed to tell anyone otherwise they have control over your bot um, yes and what we're going to do now is actually link the bot to a server. We have to first connect the bot to a server, which will take a second, but we'll be able to do that. Um, 
So I have the link for you in the description. You have to change the client ID part, which is in brackets because I can't put it into these um, crocodile signs I have it's called. And um, you have to copy the client application ID um, number from here and paste it into it. And then press enter at the end of the link. And once we're there, you can choose to actually add it to a server. So what you want to do is, um, it is only a server that you actually own. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add it to my um, test server, just not to make a big fuss about this or annoy any people on my main server. And now what we're going to click is authorize. I just have it in German because um, this video is originally in German. And now we're done. Once you've got this done, um, you can continue and um, go on with the config stuff. So what we're going to do is go into the um, music book folder and we'll have to use um, the token just a little bit later. So you will, um, we'll look at this in a second. So we're here, we're here at the music box folder, which we can actually change the name from, which I already said. And we go into its um, config part um, just in a second. And we have to change this example options.ini to um, options.ini because this is, um, we're actually going to copy it first and then paste it in here. And um, then we are going to rename it and just call it options.ini. So um, this will actually have all the um, important stuff for the, for the bot in it which we are going to just set up. And what I recommend to actually edit these text files is um, Notepad, which is one of the best um, programs to actually edit text files with a lot of coding and stuff in it. Um, but you can use other stuff, but this is, Notepad is really the best if you want to use it. Um, so what we're going to do is um, put a colon in front of email and password. So that um, in case, so that it doesn't use an email and a password account and actually uses our um, bot account, uh, our application account that we just set up. If you want to use that, it's, um, it's for, for the stuff that you, um, in case you want to put it, put the bot on a, onto your server that you don't actually own, I would recommend um, making a Discord account, a new one. And then you can put in the email and the password and then we'll connect with that one. Um, because if you use the token, you will need one that, um, this method, you will need a server that you actually own. And the other way you don't. So what we're going to do now is copy the token, which is um, down there. And this token shouldn't be shown to anyone. And um, this is actually something you should keep. I told you that already before. Um, and now you just copy it and put it into the file for um, bot, to bot underscore token so that we have it here. No, not on own ID, I highlighted the wrong thing. There we go, bot token. And what we're going to do now is find our owner ID. To do that, um, you will actually have to open Discord it doesn't matter if you do it in the browser or with the client. I just showed it with the client because I just have it there. Um, so that will take a second. And what you have to do is actually type um, backslash at your name. And I'm actually going to put that for you, put that in the comments for you. So you can actually just copy it and you don't have to do it um, completely um, out of nowhere or from this video. So you don't have to retype this stuff. And what it does now is that it shows the number code and this is actually your ID. So you have to copy this. Um, so this is your user ID. You're going to put it into the owner ID part here. And this will allow you to be the owner of the bot. So it, act so it will actually accept all the commands that you use, no matter if you're not whitelisted or whatever, so on. Command prefix is actually what you use to write before command and um, I can give you an example now. So there's play, play, and um, for example, if you want to play YouTube videos, you, you write in um, exclamation mark play, 
and then YouTube link, your YouTube link, which you copied from your browser. And um, that's how you can just like instantly um, put in stuff. And that's what you use for your commands. It's like in Minecraft where you actually have a slash, but here you just have an exclamation mark instead. Um, you might want to change this, you can change it to star, whatever sign you would like to have it. You can even change it to a letter, which I find ridiculous, but you can still do that. I'm just going to show it with a star, so that would be like that, like play, and then you would um, actually do it normally. But I'm going to leave it with this exclamation mark. And uh, yeah, I think that is enough um, from that. I will show you further um, stuff that is um, in the comments also what you can do and bind to channel is something that we actually don't really care about it just show it just makes the bot automatically bind to one channel that you selected and you actually have to find the channel number which is quite complicated so you probably don't want to do this only if you're really an expert or you really care that much auto join channels is also not something we are going to care um, the next thing we are actually going to care about is default volume and we're actually going to leave this this way because we can still change it in um, Discord itself with the exclamation mark volume thing with whitelist check no that means um, if you have whitelist check no then there's a, this um, whitelist file and if you put it yes then um, if you add your name to this file only you can only the people that you put into the whitelist file can actually um, control the bot with exclamation mark play. Whoever isn't in the whitelist file can't actually control the bot. So um, that's that. I'm going to put it for now just for the purpose of this tutorial. And um, I'm just going to delete everything here, save it and leave it this way. Skip ratio is something that we don't really care about. It's a little bit more complicated. Um, if you're the owner, you can instantly skip stuff. And save videos is when it actually downloads the videos and then it plays them. Actually, it needs to download them anyway. But if you leave save videos, it doesn't actually download them again. So it doesn't actually delete them each time it has downloaded them again. So once someone wants the same video again, it will just take the downloaded file. And it will load much faster if you want to have that. Um, this is something we aren't actually in, interested in in now playing match. And, um, and auto summon is something that we actually care about because auto summon is quite important. So that whenever you're in a group um, and you start at the bot, it will actually instantly join into that group without you actually having to um, type exclamation mark summon. So that's something you want to actually leave here and it's quite practical for you to use. Um, but whenever you change the group, the bot won't actually follow you. So, so you'll have to um, type exclamation mark summon once you change the group or you have to pull him over if you're the owner of the server, of course, um, which is quite easier. Delete messages is something we're going to leave. I think we're pretty much done with this um, file. Um, if you're if you're not going to leave delete messages, there's no actual point um, because um, delete messages would just leave all the messages the bot pastes into your Discord main chat um, just there, and there's no point of actually having that. So what we're going to do um, is run the bot now with the bat file, run bat file, and um, we're only going to do this in one window. Now it's going to download all the additional packages that we'll actually need to run. And um, this part is mostly automated besides um, the stuff that you actually have to update. So I'm going to show you how to update your bot um, with this stuff. So you just have to type all this text that it says up there, which is Python dash m pip install dash dash upgrade pip and what will what this will do was it will actually update all your components if you already had um, python installed and now it is done and we're going to restart the bot and this time it should actually work 
it still downloads files again so we actually have them and now it's connecting but I forgot to do one thing and that is actually to join a group where you can actually talk so um, you can already hear the bot um, you at this point you would actually hear the bot joining but I actually have to join a group to make it work so um, what I'm going to do is just restart the bot again and we'll see um, how this will work and it is connecting and now it is actually connected um, you can't hear this because I actually I put down the complete computer volume and um, my voice which was mixed together um, but it's actually playing Selena Gomez same old love and um, it also says as what it does like um, in, in like the um, discord style which is quite kind of cool and um, if you want to actually change the, the thing the um, the song playing so you actually have right exclamation mark play and then your YouTube link and I just took Alexi Bexi as an example here um, just to play his stuff and if you want to skip ahead and um, because you would actually have an estimated time of like three minutes before your thing would actually start so um, there's this auto um, queued stuff in, in your list which um, sexual rhinoceros preset in your thing and now you're going to hear Alexi Bexi talking in the background, which you can't hear now, but you can hear it in the German video. Um, and now we can actually go to the, um, the music bot folder and change the auto playlist because we don't actually want um, the bot to play any songs that will randomly set by sexual rhinoceros. So we're actually going to delete all the auto playlist. And now it will actually n not play something automatically. Only if you press um, exclamation mark play and then the YouTube URL. Um, that is the only way to actually make it um, make it play something without actually having the auto playlist or the backup playlist, however you want to call it, um, set here. And I'm just going to put Alexi Bexi's link just as an example. And that would just be the next thing if you would um, press exclamation mark resume. Um, and thank you for watching my video. And I hope you enjoyed it. All the um, additional commands will actually be in the description for you. So don't forget to check out the description. And don't forget to like my video, to um, subscribe, to um, f um, share this video and if you if you're really bothered to check out my Discord um, server, it is on Wiperite uh, www.wiperite.com, and there's also links in the description which you can check. It's further down, but it will say um, Wiperite or Discord.wiperite.com, and if you click that, you will instantly join to our server, and you can still set a nickname and stuff. So it's quite easy and cool for you. And the last thing I'm going to say is. Simply goodbye and thank you for watching.